Okay, for the nerve flossing of the uh, lumbosacral region um, on the posterior nerves, which you've indicated, um, we're going to be doing uh, three things. We're going to be doing some work with our neck, um, some work with the lumbosacral junction, so everything between L4 to S2, so L4, L5, S1, S2, um, and then we're going to be doing some work with your right leg as well. Essentially, it's the same as the um, spinal breathing. So we scrunch up one area of the nerve and we expand the other portion. Um, briefly, we expand both. So that's when the nerve is on full stretch. We don't stay there for more than a fraction of a second. And then we reverse it so that we stretch the portion that was previously squidged. And then we scrunch up the one that was previously stretched. OK, so your right hand side. So we're going to lay down comfortably. You're going to use your left hand to support your um, head and neck so that you're not collapsing down, but you're also going to use it um, for your forehead. Your right um, hand is going to support your hip bone. So you make sure that everything is stacked in alignment. You don't end up falling forwards or backwards whilst you're doing this. Left leg um, supporting and your right leg is going to be the one that's moving. Okay. So to start with, we're going to scrunch up the lumbar spine. So find the very top of your hip bone, track that round onto your back. That effectively is L4, so you want to come down from there. This is the only point of your spine you're going to move. So you're going to scrunch it backwards. So at the back, we'll get closer together. So if I was to do that with my whole body, it would look like that. So just this little bit here, you're hinging backwards. You're also going to hinge at the neck so you can take that into extension as well. From here, we're going to stretch through the hip. So we're going to take this right leg and we're going to bring that up. So we're now on stretch here and we're scrunched along the spine. Okay. Briefly, we're going to flex the neck. So you're going to push into your hand up here. You're going to push this portion of your back backwards to flex that. So you're now on stretch. And then we're going to take that back. So we're now stretched in the spine and we're now scrunched at the hip. We're going to transition between those two points so that you're flossing the nerve. So again, we go into extension here, extension here, and we bring this through so that we're scrunched in the spine and we're stretched around the hip. And then we reverse that by bringing forward, pushing into the hand, taking the back back briefly before extending the hip back into here. So we're now scrunched here, stretched in the spine. 